This video is for a demonstration on the surfacer or planer. What we're looking to do on the surfacer is take and sand the faces of the board or reduce the thickness of the board to a set height. So first thing you want to do is check the stock that you're planing and make sure that there's no nails in it and that there's no huge splits or knots in the wood. An example of a knot would be something like this where you have a knot that could po um, possibly be removed or get loose while you're planing it. So something like that, nails or splits are not good. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is that your stock is at least a foot in length. We don't do short boards. Okay? Whenever you're running something through the planer, you're only going to run one piece of wood through at a time. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this set up. So I'm going to take a tape. And I want to take and measure the thickness of my board, which is 7 eighths. Then I'm going to take on the planer ruler, just so you can see. On the planer ruler, I want to take and set this to my desired height, which it's already set to. And I'm looking at the straight line right here, not the curve. The height should be set right at the line. Other things I want to check for is making sure that it's on dimensioning cuts and not finishing cuts. So it should be by the two. If you ever see it by the one, go ahead and turn the machine on first by pulling the on switch and then flipping it. Never flip this while the machine is off. Lastly, I want to check my um, desired thickness of the board, which is three quarters. This will automatically stop the machine once it gets to three quarters, and that's called the stop. All right, so my machine is all set up and ready to go. So when I'm using the planer, I always want to stand um, on the side of the machine, never in front of the machine or behind the machine, always on the side of it. When I'm feeding my stock in, never force it in, always let it get grabbed by the automatic belt and then you're going to push it in with a flat hand. So barely just push it in with the flat hand until it gets grabbed. Never grab the board because your fingers could get pinched during the process. Okay. Then you're going to let it go all the way through and you're going to re retrieve it from the back end. Wait till it comes all the way out. Don't yank it out the back side. Okay? We're only going to make small cuts on the planer, never deep or heavy cuts. Okay? This is only meant to take off a 32nd of an inch at a time. Each half turn of our wheel right here is a 32nd of an inch. So after I plane my material one time, I'm going to take it out, turn it over so that the cutter head will actually plane the other side of the material. And I'm going to turn my wheel one half turn clockwise to take off a 32nd of an inch. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, turn my exhaust on. Um, my planer's set up, so I'm going to go ahead and plane it twice, and then we'll review.